high school wrestler, commander of cadets at the Air Force Academy, captain of the Air Force skydiving team, fighter pilot in training. He became one of the 11,000 Americans who suffered debilitating spinal cord injuries each year. Most, like Ian, are hurt in automobile accidents. Other leading causes are sports collisions, diving, job-related accidents, even freak accidents around the house. Men are four times as likely to be injured as women. One thing we learn is never say never, and we believe that hope is a very important uh, motivator. And being in research, we know that there are possibilities for new treatments every day. For researcher Rosenthal, the focus is not necessarily on a cure, but on improving the quality of life. For patients with spinal cord injuries, progress is measured in victories over everyday obstacles, moving around the house, getting in and out of a wheelchair without assistance, learning how to drive, or becoming mobile enough to return to the workforce. For women, it's often a special challenge as families learn to care for someone who once was the primary caregiver. For a very few like Ian, there's a slight chance of what was once unthinkable, regaining some movement in formerly paralyzed limbs. What we're trying to do is see what are the changes that we can make within the leg muscles. What are the changes in the firing patterns of the, mu of the muscle activity? Is it possible to get any sort of um, improved standing over ground for these individuals? Is it possible for people with the ability to walk? Can we improve their walking ability over ground? Ian was one of several patients to go through a groundbreaking study using body weight support. Yep. Ready? Okay, take him up. The patient is lifted into a harness. Okay. With help from physical therapists, patients walk on a treadmill controlled by a computer. During each of the sessions, more and more of the person's weight is transferred from the overhead support system to Thank the you. legs. All right, let's drop two pounds. The majority of people who came into the study were reliant on the wheelchair. The first time that they stood up was when they um, hopped on the treadmill since their, since their injury. What people can do is stand for a lengthy period of time by using a walker, and that in itself is a, is a gain, a functional gain for these individuals. For Ian, the change was dramatic. He has regained some muscle control. I have very strong uh, lower back now, which is well below the level of injury. Um, just at, at the uh, base of the hips is where I have almost full control of my lower back. At times, I can move my legs on my own. At times, I've actually been able to take full steps, and I can support my weight sometimes. While Ian's progress has been exceptional, researchers have seen a more general improvement in many of the patients. What we were very surprised to see was after training uh, on this body weight support system, we were actually able to see muscle activity improve and improve in the right time and phase of the walking cycle. And then there are other, some other physiological changes that can occur just by virtue of loading the body in a vertical direction. Including increased bone density, muscle tone, flexibility, and circulation even for those who don't regain any movement. Yeah, stop. Something that you could see visibly is generally um, a more okay. color to the limbs, which means there's more circulation to the limbs. That's a good thing because anytime there's improved circulation to the limbs, there's a greater uh, reduction of the possibility of getting a pressure ulcer, for example. Body weight support training is still experimental. It can be very labor intensive. For some patients, three therapists may be necessary. Whereas for patients with more motor function, one may suffice. The equipment is expensive, but for researchers, it's an investment in the future. It helped me to take an active role. It helped okay. me personally um, and emotionally to yep. take an active role in my own um, benefits in my own uh, health care. Hope is a very critical part of the recovery for anyone who has uh, sustained an injury or a severe disability, a chronic illness. So we want to get people back to being able to work on their own, to be mobile within the home, but also within the community, to participate actively in recreational activities. And that's really what we're about in terms of having quality of life. We never thought this was possible. It gave me a, a very positive mindset in that things are only impossible if you stop trying, regardless of what history says, regardless of what medical books say. You only stop gaining when you stop trying to. Mm. That's good.